Hi, and it's so great that you're watching this file render for GPU technology video. In this video, I will talk about depth of field and how we implemented it in uh, file render for GPU. Please keep in mind that this is a preview. We don't know yet if we keep it like that, but we had this uh, fancy idea to restrict uh, settings and controls to certain effects you want to adjust. So we want to uh, create a really good real-time experience so that you can concentrate on your effects. Right now what you see here is a uh, scene, pretty uh, complex scene in here and we are going to select the uh, camera and we are using our physical camera in file render for GPU with all the settings. Right now we have a pretty uh, weird mode, camera mode we are using here, but that's what we think would be very helpful later on. You can see a little bit depth of field going on, but let me just zoom in a little bit. As you can see, feedback is really, really fast. You see instantly depth of field. The great thing here is it's a special mode. So uh, as I said, we are not sure yet if we keep it like that, but we want to implement that for all kinds of effects so that you can adjust them very fast instantly. So, and when it's about depth of field, you want to concentrate on your depth of field effect. So you can see now nice depth of field. So our focus lies on the objects behind. However, you can adjust your focus as you want because we are based on a physical camera. So um, you would just select your camera target, you would move your camera target and you can adjust your focal point. So now we concentrate on the bowl in the front, all the back is blurred out. And the other way around, I'll go there and now we concentrate our view here. And now the great thing we have here is we can adjust now. We can go and set our system into a, into the uh, final mode. Let me select the camera for that as well. And let me just go to this. And now we just turn on our full GI global illumination, ray tracing, reflection, reflection rendering and everything. And you can see instantly we get indirect illumination and we are still able to adjust in real time our physical camera. So we can adjust all the parameters we want to adjust to get the image or the view we are after. And as you can see in a few seconds, it's just a few little seconds, we get a real nice image with the nice depth of global illumination, light bouncing around and all this kind of stuff. And yes, you can adjust in the full blown interactive GI mode as well your depth of field. So you can move around and you will see instantly in a matter of seconds the depth of field effect updated. However, our d first mode we showed you, I think it's a great idea uh, we have there and we have to work on it. But for now, we think we can create really nice interactive tools to set up a rendering or ray tracing effect. Thanks for watching this video. Please check out our other videos as well. We are doing now multiple technology preview videos that just shows you uh, our progress we have with real-time rendering with our GPU accelerated rendering.